Hello there. In this video, we'll be looking at long shots split screen test with Jasper AI. We'll be looking at some of the features and how they are different for each of these tools. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So as you can see, I'm on the editor for both tools. On the left hand side, you have Jasper's editor and on the right hand side, you have long shots editor. Now, since the football fever is going on, we have a World Cup running and uh, Morocco is playing something of a magical, they have a magical journey going on. So I thought, uh, why don't we write about uh, them? So what I'll do is I'll just input the topic, write about Morocco's journey to the semifinals of the FIFA World Cup. Um, and over here as well, I'll just instruct the AI, drop in the instruction, uh, select the factual instruct feature. And uh, yeah, let's just ask the AI to generate the text. So in case of long shot, what the AI does is it goes to the search engine. It looks at the content, uh, finds what's relevant, what's new and fresh, what's happening uh, when you talk about this question, uh, this text that we wrote, and uh, it will just generate the results. It will get the results uh, based on the ones available on the SERP. And uh, yeah, it takes a few seconds, but here we go. As you can see, it is quite accurate. And uh, yeah, it is accurate and it is quite... Uh, Pretty good, right? So this is Longshot's factual instruct feature. And as you can see, they became the first African nation true after defeating European giants, Portugal. They beat them 1-0 in the semi-final. That's also true. Uh, Morocco's journey to the semi-final started in Group F. 0-0 draw against uh, Croatia and 0-2 uh, victory against Belgium and a 1-2 victory against Canada. Uh, round of 16, yeah, they beat uh, Spain 3-2 uh, on penalties after a nil draw. That's again true. Uh, you can see all these results. This is all relevant. This is all uh, which has happened. And uh, yeah, with the Atlas Lions taking on the winner of England versus France match. So uh, we, as we know, that France did beat uh, England 2-1. So let's uh, look at what Jasper has to say about that uh, for the tone of voice. Keeping a very simple um, tone of voice, let's keep it informative. Uh, and uh, we can talk about Morocco's journey is one keyword and uh, also FIFA World Cup 2022 Qatar so we have this uh, output length let's keep it uh, medium let's keep it medium and ask the AI to compose the same okay uh, when and when uh, African population followed by uh, okay this is uh, decent but I'm looking for something uh, relevant Okay, uh, as you can see, um, you can see the contrast of results, right? So over here you have uh, something which is kind of fresh, kind of new um, compared to what Jasper is giving. Uh, so yeah, you can see this tool, uh, Instruct Me feature, Factual Instruct feature. You can check it out. Now, how do we know that the content that the AI has generated is it's even uh, factually correct? So Longshot provides this feature. You have a claim detection feature. What you can do is just click over here and uh, the AI will highlight the points, which it thinks that you need to check for factual accuracy. I mean, uh, even in this case, we don't know if uh, any of these uh, facts which have been mentioned are inaccurate. So as you can see, uh, this, is, uh, this has been mentioned over here. Uh, this has been highlighted. So this is something we can check for factual accuracy. What you can do is uh, simply go over here, click on fact check. And uh, yeah, Morocco has made history by becoming the first African nation. Let's ask the AI to check for fact if the statement is factually correct. So we click over here and let's see what the AI has to say about that. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, this statement is factually accurate. Morocco became the first nation. Uh, first half goal uh, sealed attains 1-0 victory. You can see that the statement is factually correct and or you can also see uh, which other teams uh, reached the quali uh, quarterfinals but didn't uh, proceed. So uh, if you want some more uh, information or maybe you want to check for facts, you can see these other links which have been mentioned. You can simply hover and you can click on them and get the results as well. So this is how the factual accuracy or the fact check feature for long shot works. Jasper, we don't offer any fact check feature. So you might not know if the content generated by AI is factually accurate or not. Let's look at the next feature now. So for the next bit, we are going to look at a couple of features. And as you can see, I'm already on a editor. Uh, the document is open. It's blank over here with Jasper and with Longshot. We have this. So uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll generate the intro. So as you can see, I've already written uh, this partial document. So let me just select it, 
click on generate intro and what you'll see is uh, we're talking about the working capital formula right so what you can do is uh, input your context or what you can do is you can select the one suggested by AI or you can go blank you don't have to enter anything but uh, if you do happen to suggest some relevant input it will help the AI and uh, as you can see it has taken results from the SERP so working capital is a measure of company's financial health uh, working capital formula and uh, you have this I think I'll input all of these and ask the AI to generate the results based on the context that I've provided. Now, this feature is not something which is available with Jasper, but uh, you can use it. You simply got to input your subheading and uh, the AI will generate the result based on that. So as you can see, the AI is writing the result for you. And uh, yeah, you have the formula over here. You can see that. Okay, it's, it's writing. Let's mention a few things. So this is simply your, your topic. So you don't have to input anything, just select the text and uh, the AI will take care of the rest. So it will keep on generating, uh, covering all the points or the context that we have chosen. And uh, yeah, you can see this is what the AI has come up with. Um, it's the formula. The formula for calculating is this. Okay, so as you can see, it is this easy. Working capital formula, knowing how to calculate your working capital is a key step. That's an introduction, then uh, it follows through. Uh, you have this result. Of course, you can expand on it. Uh, but what if I jump to research and uh, let's say I want to talk about a particular section and uh, maybe uh, you want to look at uh, your popular subheadings. Uh, you can look at the popular ones or the ones uh, from your competitors. As you can see, these are your competitors and uh, these are the subheadings that they have used. So you can see the top eight results and uh, yeah, you can copy and uh, look into that. But if you want to focus on a particular point, what, what say if you want to look at, uh, let's say, take control uh, of your working capital. Let me copy that bit. And I want to see if uh, if my competitors are writing about this and if they are writing, what are they writing about it? So uh, what you'll see is uh, uh, updated fact sheet. So fact sheet is basically a list of facts. You'll find uh, all the relevant data, which has been uh, written by the top SERP articles. So uh, we mentioned the fact for like fetch facts for taking control of your working capital. And uh, as you can see, this has been uh, what suggested by AI. So this is what your competitors are writing when you're, when they're talking about this uh, topic taking control. Of course, you can choose a different topic and you can uh, simply copy the bit. And uh, I mean, you can copy it. And uh, yeah, what I'll do is I'll uh, rephrase the same. I mean, you can uh, totally rephrase the content that you have generated using the other features. Uh, yeah, so what you can do is you can choose whatever seems relevant. You can look for ideas, uh, what your competitors are writing. And uh, I mean, this is how this feature works, right? So, but this is what your competitors are writing. But what if you want to uh, input your own content? Maybe you've written something uh, in the past in your own blog or in your own CMS, you've written about this topic and you want to take that bit as a context and uh, you want the AI to generate content based on that. I mean, you've written something, but you want the AI to place facts based on your uh, existing content. So that is where the source of truth uh, feature comes into play. So, so what you do is uh, you basically uh, upload your relevant docs or text files. And uh, uh, this is where you can find since I don't have anything uploaded at the moment, if I jump back to uh, the homepage, you can see upload source of truth, what you need to do is just upload your document, whatever relevant document you're working on. And uh, once you do that, uh, you can totally use that uh, document and uh, if you want to work on deriving results, you can use that to get your results as well. So it's pretty similar. Uh, you show advanced, you again, you click on source of truth, uh, which is the relevant file for which you want to generate results and uh, fetch the facts for a particular term from that particular article. So it's your kind of uh, uh, context kind of thing, uh, your source of truth, if I may say it that way. Uh, and that is this feature. This feature is not available with Jasper. It is available with Longshot and uh, it is one of the custom features. Uh, which you can use to generate even uh, more uh, personalized content for your audience. So this is uh, uh, some of the differences between Jasper and Longshot AI. But if I look at some other features uh, and uh, if I show you the backend, we look at some of the plugins. 
and uh, same for Jasper we have the Jasper's uh, Chrome extension and into the integrations you can see like for Jasper they have their Chrome extension or we have the Chrome extension as well then we also have a WordPress plugin but if you want to look at integrations comparing the integrations we also uh, have SEMrush integration Jasper as Surfer SEO and uh, they have a plagiarism checker we also have an inbuilt plagiarism checker uh, which uses copyscape uh, which is pretty much same as them Apart from that, uh, we also have custom integration option. Then we have an uh, option where you can connect your CMS, your HubSpot CMS with Longshot or you want to connect with Ghost or Medium. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There's uh, so much that Longshot offers. So why don't you check it out? See for yourself and generate awesome blogs for your use case. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.